Go back to the table. That's right. that's her. Right there. How are you? Fine. Yes. Oh my God. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that you, she, I don't know, she was telling me that you have in invented a new game. Yes. Yep. So why don't you tell me, explain it to me real quick. All right, well the name of the game is called Fae. It's a tabletop role play game, like a Dungeons and Dragons kind of game, um, where you create a, except instead of being a hero, you play a monster. It's, it's modern day, you create your own monster that lurks in the shadows, does whatever your monster wants to do. So can you show me some sure. of the... Well, this is a promotional poster of, of the game right here. Yeah. Um, I did the artwork, I also created the game system yeah. and wrote it. Um, so Let me get behind the, the music, behind me. Okay. So. Okay. So that there... We, you know, it shows and how long have you, I mean, how many people can play at a time? And as how? many as you want. Um, obviously, the bigger the group, the slower the game goes because everyone gets a turn, you know what I mean? So but, is it on the internet now or do you, um, do you go on the right internet? Now, with right it now, it's, it's strictly tabletop. Um, I have had groups playing it online, but they play using teams or that kind of a thing. Right. Because I, I don't know anything. I have friends that are into games. So. You, you know in Dungeons and Dragons how like you create a you create your hero character you want. Right, right. In this game you create your monster. Oh. And then you 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 head out to do whatever you know, these are all ones that you can play in the module I have set up for, for here. Yeah. And and do you I mean is it growing? How do you know whether or not when you reach a success with a game? Well, I'm launching the Kickstarter next month, so the game hasn't been released yet. Oh. Um, but right now I've had playtesting, um, yeah. I've had games at conventions, and it's been received exceedingly well. I have thousands of people that have signed up for email to be notified of the Kickstarter, um, so it's going to be launching next month. Oh. So and then how, I will see how, how it officially and works. And how do you find out? I mean, how do you follow it if you have a computer? How would they find you in this um, Well, you can always go to my website, which is www.edenparktales.com. Or spell it. E-D-E-N-P-A-R-K-T-A-L-E-S.com. And that's my publishing company, and that's, that's what it's being released through. Good luck. Thank you very much. You're welcome. What are these? Are these just... So I have my comic series and my... Oh, and the, oh so you're multi. Oh, yeah, oh, multi yeah. Oh, yeah. This, is, this is oh, all me. Oh. So what oh. originally happened was Autumn Gray was a comic series I wrote about fairies and monsters going home from night and messing with people. Oh. And that, since I created a world for that story, for this book, I actually decided what if I made the... so you could play in this world, you know? Oh. So... So this is sort of like Magna, it's very big in Japan or not? Um, it's it's not the same, but I'm hoping it's as big as that at some, at some point. That'd be great. <laughs> yeah, I, it's, it's amazing. It's just a whole genre. I don't... Right. So it's it's fantasy, but it's modern there, day is fantasy. There, is there an, an, group of, an age group or a um, type of person that the, would be... The comic a, series is kind of a PG-13 level. It's something you could see on television if it was on television. Some of the language is, is a little crass, yeah. you know, and it's got some darker themes to it, like because it's ruining people's lives yeah. and, 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 and there's this hunting going on and stuff like that. So, is there any? What is this? Uh... Well, this is Simon. He's one of the characters from my comic series. Oh. Um, he goes to conventions with me to harass people and then heckle them. Oh. In fact, I can go back there and make him uh, the light for you. <laughs> what are you looking at, huh? <laughs> you need to be a ventriloquist okay. as well. well. When I had to wear the masks at shows, it's perfect. You couldn't see my lips move. So it's <laughs> 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 he doesn't even have lips. He can't see my lips move. See? Uh, uh, okay. Well, thank you very much. You're Good welcome. Luck.